In this video, I will show you how to create a project on this platform using the polygon and classification template. For example, I might have some floor plan images and I want to capture and classify different elements including different rooms such as bedroom and living room and also other elements such as window and wall. With this template, images will be first labeled with polygon annotation, then classified into their corresponding categories. Now let's create a project by clicking image and I choose the polygon and classification template and click start to build. Let's look at this template. With this template, before making any modifications, you're having the cats in your images captured by polygons, then classified. But let's get back to our example. I can split the polygon task into two objectives. Polygons around the rooms and polygons around the other elements. So I click on the second rectangle. The editing section shows up on the right column. Let's change the object from cat to room. Then we click on the third rectangle and change the classification. The elements are going to be tagged by the room type, which is living room, bedroom, bathroom, dining room, and patio. Similarly, we do the same thing for other elements, but here's the key. Drawing a polygon around other elements is like a parallel objective with polygons around rooms. So we click on the first rectangle, then click polygon. You see, now we have another branch for polygon annotation. Again, in the editing section, type in other elements excluding rooms for the object. Since I want a classification for the objects in the polygon, I need to click the polygon rectangle first, then choose classification from the left section. Choose this single selection option here. Select the type of the element. And for the selections, I have wall, window, and door. Okay, now click Save and we're done with this project configuration. This template is useful in a lot of industries such as AI in retail, also robotics, agriculture, and even self-driving because it helps in detecting objects precisely without the white spaces and additional noise that come with bounding boxes. So if you're working with a similar problem, please give it a try.